the way that the Russians march are just a bit faster. All we're really doing is picking up the pace, but the same marching movements. Sergeant Mark Kubiak and the rest of his infantry unit are preparing for a first. This is marching in Red Square, Moscow, Russia. There is no other. This is the first time. There's nothing that can compare to what we're about to do. This is part of history. This is the first time that Americans have gotten to ever step on Russian soil for a Victory Day, May Day parade. And um, I get to be part of that. It's something specialist Robert Irvin wishes he could share with a family member who served during World War II. I would want to show him how much the world's changed since events in the past and how we've grown closer together as two great nations and how this event may hopefully you know, help bond us closer together and a better understanding between our two people. Many of the soldiers feel the same way and are looking forward to sitting down and chatting with some Russian infantrymen. I think any infantry sergeant depending, no matter where you are in the world. I think we all have a lot in common. I think a lot of us are the same. I'm sure we'll probably just sit down and talk about our soldiers, uh, maybe the way that we build them up uh, from beginning. Even before the parade has started, Specialist Irvin is already thinking about what he'll remember most about the historic day. The first step into the Red Square and getting to know that I'm one of 75 Americans is getting to take that first step into that. Air Force Sergeant Colleen Jones, bomb holder, Germany. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television in Washington.